My name is Aaron Tuff. I grew up in Cockway County here in Moultrie. I did a regular thing as a teenager. I played football here, ran track. And after high school, which is not very opportunities back in the 70s, I went in the military, in the Army, in the U.S. Army. That's me right here, in Army uniform. Yeah, that's me. I went to Fort Benning for uh, jump school, which is uh, Alborn. I had never been on a plane. And my first plane ride, they had me jump out of it. During one of my jumps, I hurt my back, you know, in the military. I started having back pike pains, you know. Instead of you just going to the doctor and find out what's wrong, somebody buy some Hennessy, and get a, a nickel bag of weed, and you forgot about the pain. And that's what I started doing. I forgot about the pain. I started experimenting with coke. Then I had some people turn me on to freebasin, which is a very addictive form of cocaine. And I started doing that. The addiction make you become a uh, hardcore addict, taking chances, you stealing, and doing everything. The first night I came out, I stopped around the block. It was about 15 and 20 people standing in this yard. So I walked over there with them. By that time, as a you see an undercover agent was out in the wood with his night scope. He was watching activities in that yard. And he said he seen me make hand motions to people. They looked around in that yard, they emptied the yard with a flashlight. And they picked up a little piece of paper. And they came to me and they told me, to put my hands on the car. And I was be I'm gonna be arrested for possession of cocaine to the script. The problem I had, I had about $90 in my pocket. So naturally I'm selling drugs. and they gave me life without parole. And I'm 39 years old. So that means they gave me a death sentence in prison. Ah, uh, my mother, she told me you gonna get out one day. I be saying to myself, Mom, I ain't getting out. You be making me think I'm getting out. But my mother told me that. She did. It took me a while to be able to talk. When the judge, I didn't have anything to say, I couldn't speak. Trying to hold back tears, I'm about to choke, it's hard. I cried then, and I cried in my mother's grave. I'm not trying to get back to life I lost. What I want to do, I just want to be happy. I want to see my family happy, you know what I'm saying? And I want to see my kids grow up, my grandkids grow up.